In this century, America has become a nation on wheels. We ride on wheels to work, to shop, to play, to go about any place we want to go. We depend on wheels to bring us the food we eat, the clothes we wear, the things we use. But when we depend on wheels, we depend also on highways and roads and streets for the wheels to roll on. And on parking. Every day, thousands of students depend on cars and roads to get to and from Western Michigan University. Our highway system aids students from all parts of the state to travel to Kalamazoo with ease. But when they arrive, they are met with this. This is a typical morning at the Rood Hall parking lot. It isn't uncommon for us students to spend over 20 minutes circling the lot looking for a spot in the morning. Parking at a university is a problem that has been around for a while. Let's take a look. One of the newest additions to help speed the parking of cars with a minimum amount of extra help is this closed circuit TV camera located behind the Health Science Building. With it, one parking attendant can efficiently operate two separate parking lots as he's able to see the cars arriving and by panning the camera is able to determine whether there is parking space available in that lot and where it is. Upon arriving, a driver is stopped by a gate which is operated with a special card issued to all those who are authorized to park in the area. The attendant in the other lot with the aid of a special two-way speaker can direct the driver to a parking area that is open. While impractical for use at Western, this system does have the right idea. Matching permits to a spot would definitely help solve the issue. But that was a while ago. Let's see what other universities are doing today. Now for those of you planning to drive your car to campus, you'll need to purchase a parking permit. All you need to do is go online and select your permit through Access UH. There are many options for you to choose from, from economy to garage permits. These need to be displayed at all times while parked on campus. If throughout the year you decide you'd like to upgrade or downgrade your permit, simply stop by the Welcome Center parking desk to make the exchange. Have a more flexible permit does sound nice, but we don't think it would do much to solve our problem finding space each morning. We definitely want to want to add to this problem. Yes, sadly, as many Western students and employees know, that's our parking regulations website. If we added more to it, we could end up with a problem similar to Culver City, California. Reading parking signs to make sure you don't get a ticket is frustrating, but tonight we found the parking sign that takes the cake. Hmm. It's 15 feet of rules and regulations, signs stacked on signs. Cake Allen's Juan Fernandez is live tonight in Culver City with the reason behind the stacked warning signs. Juan. Well, Susie, I want you to take a look behind me here. Only half the sign remains now. The signs were supposed to clarify, but instead they confused even more. And Although too many regulations can be a burden, the root of the problem isn't the regulations. While researching, we've actually discovered the problem is in enforcement. Not enough people are getting these. While asking students about how they felt about parking, we noticed an interesting pattern in their responses. For example, take this student speaking on the condition of anonymity. I uh, park without a permit and I get away with it. Even when I get ticketed, it's worth it. I got $160 worth of tickets last year. I paid those. Like, compare that with a $300 permit. I'm still coming out ahead. And there's our problem. We need to make sure only people with permits are parking in the lots. This would not only alleviate congestion, it would give the university more revenue to spend on improving the lots versus issuing tickets that will go unpaid. There's an easy way to make this happen. In fact, we've seen it already. Let's go back to the University of Washington and the University of Houston. This is what we are proposing, the installation of gates on the entrance of Western's parking lots. Relatively inexpensive, at around $1,000 each, these gates would only use a small fraction of the parking services budget while also decreasing the amount of illegal parking. Parking spaces are a valuable resource, and they need to be properly allocated to students that pay for them. If you agree with our proposition, let parking services know. It's only fair.